No mad the nomadic. Hey YouTube, I'm Nomadic. Uh, today we're gonna be at episode number four. Uh, and like I always say in every video, if you haven't seen the other ones, definitely check them out because they all lead up to this. Um, but today we're gonna be talking mostly about programs. We're gonna touch on tracks a little bit, you know, a little bit on sequences. But yeah, let's take a look. All right, so right now I have those same three samples that I had loaded up into memory from the last video. So we're still in the same spot as we were before. Now, in order to get into actually making a beat and putting things together, you need to keep in mind that you understand programs, tracks, and sequences. Okay, so to begin, what is a program? Okay, so basically a program is an assignment of sounds. Basically what that means is that uh, your program would consist of all these pads and you could take all those sounds that you load into memory and assign every single one to whatever pad you want. So basically, uh, the first program we'd be making is a drum kit. We want to make a program with all our drum sounds on one arrangement of pads so we can play around and record something that we like. So that's essentially what a program is. Now, what a track is, is taking those programs that you created, let's say we have our drum kit that we made, take that drum kit program and you can take individual sounds out of that and you could filter them into separate tracks. And the reason that's useful is because <clears throat> if you wanted to maybe uh, make all the kicks louder versus everything else, you can record all your kicks into one track and you can control the volume of that, that one track alone without affecting everything else. So that's essentially what tracks are. And your sequences are your recordings um, which change as you create new ones. So for sake of demonstration, let's get into it. So as you can see right here, we're in sequence one. So we're gonna stay in sequence one this whole time. Um, this big number here on the main screen corresponds to the track number. So right now we are uh, programmed into track one. So if you push TR plus and TR minus, you could go up your track. So now we're in track two, track three, track four, whatever, it goes up to a pretty high number. Now, down here is where you can create your program. So right now, program is off, but we're gonna scroll to the right to create a new program, which by default is named program one. So now, in order to create a drum kit, let's go into the program settings. Now, in order to do that, you wanna push mode, and you wanna push program, which is this pad right here. So this is your program window. Now basically, what you wanna do is you wanna look down uh, this column right here, where it says sample, and you can see the pad right next to it. So this is pad one, that's the selection. If you, if you hit pad two, it moves down here. So basically, in order to load a sample into a pad, if you tap the pad, and you turn the scroll wheel, you can select which sample you want. So basically, for kick one, I want to have a kick. Or for pad one, I want a kick, right? So I have that. Now, for pad five, let's put in a snare. And now for pad nine, let's select the hi-hat. There it is. So now we have our drum kit, which is our, our first program that we made. So that's good. So now we, that we have the drum kit, let's rename that just to uh, make things uh, clearer. So in order to rename programs, all you have to do is select your program and push window. Window brings up, uh, think of it like another window out of that selection. So let's uh, select window, and this gives you the program list, which is all the programs that you have made. Because this is the only program we've made so far, this is the only thing that we have to play around with. So tab to the right to select it, and you're gonna see the first letter is selected. If you turn the cursor wheel, you can edit the name. This is the, the naming uh, browser part. So I'm gonna delete everything and let's call this drum kit. So I'm gonna just select it, push the right arrow key to go to the next one. Let's call it drum kit. Good, okay. So now we have our drum kit made. So 
what we can do with the tracks, if we want to, let's say we wanted to record a kick pattern, what we, what we would do is we would, let's say, let's make that track one. Let's make track one our kick. So if you push uh, window, same thing, tab to the right, and you, you push the scroll wheel, you can rename it. So let's call this kick. Kick. Okay, so this is our kick track. So basically, um, I'll, I'll record, you know, maybe like a kick into this thing. Don't worry about how I do it. I'm going to cover this in a future video. But if you want to record something, you hold down record and you push play start. Let's say we want to record a pattern. So that's your kick. Now, let's go up to track two. Push window. Let's rename this to snare because I want to record all my snares into our second track. So we'll edit that. Call this one snare. A R E. Alright, so that's our snare track. So now let's record a snare pattern in there. So, track two is our snare, track one is our kick. So, on track three, let's record a hi hat. Let's call this hi hat, same deal. Hi hat. And now we're going to record a hi hat. So that's basically it. You have all your things recorded on separate tracks, and we'll loop this around so it just keeps going. Um, so as you can see, if I go into my mixer, I'm also going to cover this in, in the future video. Um, this is track one, this is track two, and this is track three. Because I have everything recorded on separate tracks, maybe the kick's too loud. You can turn it down. Maybe the hi-hat's too loud. You see what I mean? That's why you want to record things in separate tracks so you have more control. Now, that, the, that, is, that is what essentially what a program is. You can create another program for other things. Um, that's what your track is. Now your sequence is basically the recording of all of it. So basically this, is, this entire thing for all of my tracks is one sequence. So if I wanted to make another sequence, if I went to sequence two, everything is completely cleared out you could just do it again and load everything uh, back into it so I would have to reselect uh, what program I want for track one so you want your drum kit same goes for track two you want to have your drum kit on track two same for track three you want to have your drum kit for your snare and it's all the same deal just recording things and keeping it in your sequence so that's basically um, what those three things are so so, I hope you enjoyed this video, hope it was helpful. Uh, next week we're going to be talking about recording samples into the MPC, which is obviously, you know, pretty important um, if you want to, you know, record off a record or, you know, whatever you do. So, tune in next week. See ya.